So have you, are you becoming sex symbols? Um, I, I think we're... Yeah, Anthony's we're, a sex symbol. Am I a sex symbol? He's a sex symbol. I think Flea well, you both got I think grabbed. Flea, I, I, think, I am by no means a sex symbol. I would say that if anybody <laughs> in the band was considered a sex symbol, it would be Flea. I don't think so. But it, it, it just, it's with men, though, for Flea. <laughs> like whenever yeah. we play a show, you see like a lot of like sexy skinhead men shouting out Flea's yeah. name in the middle of the show. See, the thing is, it's like to the kids, like, oh, Anthony, he's so beautiful, and his muscles and long hair, and oh, golly, he's so sexy, and the way he moves, it sounds really so beautiful. But with me, it's like, dude, you're so awesome. Okay. Wow, dude, wow. Flea is God, dude. Uh, Did you get into <laughs> rock and roll to get babes? Did I? I never got into rock and roll. What do you into? I, I just, I, there's an accident. I just kind of stumbled into this predicament. And I, I never really had any intention of being a rock and roller. It's just that all of my best friends were great musicians. And, and they felt sorry for me, so they had me. You felt sorry for him. He was like a wayward dog. He was like a little puppy wandering around. And we said, here, take this microphone. Keep yourself busy. It was it hard at the beginning? Was it hard? Were you shy ever, or was it always? Uh... It's not. It's, it's not hard when when there's a, a particular sound of cosmic love and funky friendship, like bursting out of these people's fingers and amplifiers. You don't even have to do anything. It's kind of like automatic pilot. You know, all of a sudden this this sound comes out, and it just kind of carries you along, and you just roll with the punches. I heard that you guys are into things like shamanism and. And rituals, and to me, it seems like the band is, is a bit of a boys' club or a men's club. We have some silly little rituals. Like what? Well, every time before we get ready to play, we have a soul circle where we all hold hands and we give each other little loving antidotes, and then we slap each other in the face and we hug each other. You're telling me the truth or making it up? No, I'm telling you. It's the truth. It's the damn truth. It's the, truth. It's the damn truth. What other things? But you know, the thing is, it's like. I mean, how could it not be like a boys club? I mean, we're all boys and we play in this band together and we travel, you know, and it's like, we've been doing this, the Red Hot Chili Peppers have been together for almost nine years now. <clears throat> and it's like, we travel all around the world all together and we, you know, we do this thing this, that we worked on and created and built and we're all together all the time doing this thing, yeah. You know, and it's difficult too, because when you're with somebody like that all the time, you know, I mean, it's just like living with a family, you know, with brothers or sisters or whatever, when you're all together. Sometimes you want to throw a vacuum cleaner at them, you know? Except that you have the added pressure of the whole world watching yeah, well, every like, move that you're making. You know, Back off, baby! I'm just getting a little kiss. No, 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 no. kiss, the size. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, this is a little kiss. You know, people are watching this. You're making me blush. You're making no, me blushes. blush. You're not blushing. You're making flea blush. You know, I'm blushing. Do you know how many letters I'm going to okay. get because this, people are going to yell at me that I insisted that you kissed me? Do you know she how told me gets... before the interview if I didn't kiss her <laughs> that she would not come to see this play tonight. So, Can I ask you so, guys something? And I'm probably going to get myself in trouble for asking this. And please be delicate in the responses. But what is it about you guys and your penises? You seem to have more than any man that I've ever met this outrageous... <laughs> This outrageous obsession with your penises. And why? 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 What makes you think that? Why? Why do you say that? Well, in every, in every interview that I've ever done, that's pretty much takes up half the interview. Well, but we didn't bring it up. That's that's because you know what it is is, you know, the existence of of sexual energy is, is such a, a an everyday part of life. It's such a, a natural aspect of life that that we end up relating to it without any shame right because it's just it's there but it's not just the penis it's also the vagina the wonderful ruby fruit jungle known as the vagina and when 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 you feel so comfortable you know with a particular aspect of life such as sex and you sing about it and it's part of your music and it's part of your energy and and you're not afraid to be comfortable with it then then you're normal in my opinion but you know if you're like a right wing reactionary judo christian you know, freak who thinks that sex is terrible, then you ignore it and it becomes something sick and, and terrible. And, and we just, you know, we, we don't have to hide from anything.